Okay, now we're going to go into the website build folder that I have, into the menus, and look at the New Year's Eve menus, where we have first and second page. So the first page looks like this. New Year's Eve, Anapasti, Ensalada, and Primi. And the second page has uh, Dopo, Dolce, and $85 per person. So this is a single menu with no prices. So technically, it's a multi-menu. Technically. Because you have a price, which you would have multiple different prices, and you have um, all these different segments. Okay. So let's do that. Let's go into the software itself. And we'll go into the admin area at the bottom. And add edit menu, a multi menu. And we're going to call it New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. And create it. So it's a multi menu, New Year's Eve. There's no segments. So we're going to click on it. And we only have one price section, which is eighty-five dollars. That's a segment, if you would. So now we have New Year's Eve, eighty-five dollars. Let's edit that. New Year's Eve, eighty-five. Let's edit the menu. Inside of there, we have two pages. We have eighty-five. We press create submenu. Okay. There we go. Now we add sections. We have one for antipasti. Oops. Then we have insalata. Then we have primi. And dopo. Or dopo, I don't know how to say it. <coughs> Dolce. I guess that's it. All right. So if we go to the first one, those are the areas we have. Let's add a couple items for each one. Don't just put the areas themselves, but those are the sections. Let's just add one item for right now. Okay. That just lets us know what section we're in. It's a it's a beta test, so it pops up, so I know it's doing it right. So let's blow this up. Anapasti, crudo di giorno. All right. What's the price on that? It doesn't say because <clears throat> it's all included in eighty-five dollars. So you can leave that blank. Parts: blood orange, radish, chive, etc. All right. Let's add another item. Calamari, sufato. All right. Olive, caper, golden raisin, etc., etc. Paste that in. You get the idea. Just keep going all the way down. <clears throat> three, four, five, six, three. Four, five. That won't be there when you're using it, just so I can make sure it's functioning right. Capri salad, octopus, uh, beef capriccio, capaccio, carpaccio, and roasted shrimp. So there we go. No prices, again, because they're all included in $85. You can make your choice. <coughs> Arugula, capers, etc. We're just going back up the list. All right, so far so good. It may seem a little slow and redundant to watch me do this, but it'll help you memorize what to do. Insalata. Two, three. So we have wild baby arugula. Paste that in. Radicchio, chorizo, and watercress. Oops, pull back a little bit. Remember, if you feel one area should be ahead of another, an item, you can just drop and drag it. It's a draggable menu system. Not between sections, but items themselves can be moved, okay? Just like that, anywhere you like, if you made a mistake. Um, copy that. Every time you save this data, it uh, rebuilds the menu, so there's no problem. So in Premi, let's go down to Premi. All right, crab ravioli, curry sauce. The good part about this is that anyone can help you. Three, four, five, six.
six. What if I did seven by accident and there's only six? So we got all the way down to the bottom where there's Rosati, this item, Nachi, uh, Zuka, and Black Spaghettini. But look, I made a mistake. There's an extra one. It's okay. Just press the X and it gets rid of it. No problem. Uh, rock shrimp, spicy, yada yada yada. Now roasted butternut. Oh, I'm just copying this directly from the PDF because it's easier that way to than typing it out. All right, <clears throat> and truffle. All right, so we got a lot going on there. Let's go to the next page, which is dopo or dapo, and we'll zoom in to take a look. Right there. Dopo, dopo. Alright. Branzino, marinado. Oh, it doesn't want me to select it. Hmm. There we go. Copy that. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There they are. Copy that. Tuna. Copy that. So it's a very pleasant experience having to edit and build brand new menus. And you can have them active or non-active depending on what time of the year it is or if you have a special. Uh, you might have restaurant week. You might have something else. In the future if you want an additional menu system that's a little bit different. You can you can do beers, and you have different beer styles or alcohol depending on what you sell. It's really limitless of what you want to put on there. If you want to modify it so much that it's very different, then it'll you know cost more because you'll be asking for something different. But this is a program that takes up to 50 files just to do this. If you look right here. Okay, just take a look at Brazino's menu area, menu systems, menus. How many programs it takes to actually build this? Right here we have 49 items, minus a couple things here and there. So that means it takes about 45 files just to make this program function, which is good. I mean, all right. So we have chocolate hazelnut cake, tiramisu, three, four. We have four items for Dolce. One, two, three. Four. Okay. So we have Dolce chocolate hazelnut cake. Boom. Hazelnut gelato. Tiramisu. No description. Maybe there should be. Mocha cinnamon bonnet. Or bonnet. There you go. And that's it. You have another area that you haven't listed, and that's uh, soda, mineral water, BYOB. Uh, <clears throat> maybe that should be a section in the menu too um, but for now I'm just going to save it the way it is so I have all those sections, all those parts, they match the PDF, we're going to save that menu that is an output to let you know that it worked Okay, and then it goes back to the other page and I'll show you how we go back here and it will show you an add edit menus that we should have it the active add edit menu look at it New Year's Eve save visibility boom now we can view the site you should see New Year's Eve and now all the segments should be visible there they are and if you look at the very top it says New Year's Eve $85 even though it's not really a sub menu it's a great way to say this whole thing cost 85 because in some of your menus you had 25, 35, 45. So technically, it's one menu of a multi-menu. And that works great. So there's no prices listed. It's all under 85, which is a great way to do it. You could also do the three-course lunch that you used to have, etc. And that's it. So, now your menu works and you can add and modify and do whatever you like. Thank you very much.